the hell are you guys doing out here? Shit actually stings a little bit. Man. We walk over to the smoking point and sit down. In order to get one of the sand blasts yet. That's insane. Look at the windows. It's like face melting hot out there. Oh yeah. How, how would you describe yeah. where we are right now? Well, back home I heard of wind chill factor, but here they have wind heat factor. Yeah. It's where the wind takes the radiating heat off the ground and blows it in your face and burns your will to live. So I would describe this place as um, uh, like a burning fire pit of hell. Yeah. But I would agree this is the fire pit of hell. My ball sack has dropped one and a half inches due to the extreme heat increase on my body. Right, so that one has overhead cover and shade. That's the A6 vehicle. And here's our truck. Shade. Hey dude. That's our only up armored Humvee. That one actually has air conditioning. That there is the 3-3 track, stuck as good as it can get. The uh, They almost rolled that thing in there, so we're waiting right now for the 88 to come and drag it out, but I just think it's pretty funny. I had to capture that for the uh, for the record. The LT is ultimately responsible for this. No, actually, Tell us how it happened, Dalton. ultimately Dalton. responsible for this fuck up is our PL. He decided to stop when we were moving at like 25 miles an hour, which forced me to stop, and the second we hit the gas, the ground could not collapse underneath us. On the scapegoat, I, uh, yeah, it's funny that it wasn't my fault until all you guys showed up and then, uh, blame it on the lieutenant's crew. Yeah, that seems to be the consensus over there. I think following too closely and, uh, just plain driving off the side of the berm is really what's <laughs> at fault. Let's hear your version. Got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, it happened. Couldn't have said it better. Got stuck. Shit, shit. We're still 10 minutes away from our target. Go around him on the left. Oh, that was close. Nice work. All sewage. Right here we are staging for the uh, very important, very noble mission to guard the only remaining bridge in JD. Your comments, Bennett? This is gonna blow a big floppy donkey dick. That's right. We're looking at 11 hours of standing on a bridge getting shot at. We're about to leave for our great and noble mission on the JD bridge. What are your thoughts at this? What's going through your head at this time? I hate fucking Bradleys. You heard it here first, folks. How you doing? Yes, sir. Give me that camera. Make sure I'm sucking my gut in. All the way. Oh, uh, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Here's how it's done right here. All right. This is what I get. Look at those legs going. That's right. Oh yeah, my dart partner, he lost. It's alright though, he whooped my ass last time and I did him. This is Dylan. He's doing flutter kicks for no other apparent reason than just being Dylan. That's a gun, and in that are bullets. Those bullets will be shot at the enemy. Yes they will. By Specialist Scott. Unless Specialist Scott gets popped and then somebody else will pick that gun up and shoot those bullets at the enemy. Special shot and Scott doesn't get popped. He might drop the gun and run away. If that happens, <laughs> we might have to pick up the gun. I have never run away. Never. Every time they see this, they run. Ah, oh, I would too. And I mean, for the record, the sign for contact is <laughs> about 15 minutes ago. Somebody was hit with the BIAD. So we're gonna roll out. Uh, for the rest of you, that's a car bomb. Army term for car bomb. Yeah. We're gonna get hit with one on the way out. Oh, so say goodbye, turret people. Die. I was gonna say hi to the people in the turret, but Scott wasted all the time. Oh, they're still a crack. 
Yeah, they're in there. Oh, they're in there, all right. <laughs> like rats in a cage. I got an ear infection right here. Well, in the meantime, we'll give you a tour of the Bradley. Well, this is the Bradley. <laughs> you can see, there's no room in here at all. We're packed in here like little rats. There's the turret. Hey, Dylan, you got a sister? Two of them. And no. The How answer is no. No? Whatever it is, no. And if my sisters end up seeing this video, stay the hell away from Hamilton there. Uh, confidence in you. Uh, Your sister's older than you? One of them. Who how, how old's the younger one? None of your damn business. Oh, come on, he's like 14. Oh, how long until she's 18? Well, let's see, she's 14 now. She's 14 now, <laughs> four years. No, she could be like, you know, in three and a half years. I should oh, have her known for that. Nine years in a day. What, you're gonna be what, 27 and she's gonna be 18? That's a perfectly legitimate fucking Gap there. That's only because she's so naive that There we go. Oh, that's true. Uh -oh. See, most of my sisters there would have been able to do that kind of math. But these are the people I have to work with. And the yeah. pay I get, these I can't even believe I put up with it. Work I really with. You're, you're on candid camera. You're not funny. Oh, there are no known oh, pictures no of me. Get back in here. Let's see what's behind No cameras. <laughs> these right here are anti-tank. Toe 2B. Toe stands for tubular launched optically guided weapon. Wire track or something. No, it's a wire guided. No, 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 no. It's tubular. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Who fucking cares? All it's right. a toe. That's all we know. We're infantry. Doc, what do we have in the sandwich today? Roasted chicken on the best bread that I've ever eaten in my life. I, I'm telling you, I'll tell you, of nothing else they make here, the bread is outstanding. Yep. I just sent uh, one of the guys to go get me a whole bunch more of it, so. Alright, so here's the situation. The new people have made it into country. What they've done is they've gone to Cuervo with their big convoy, and they have completely blocked access to the entrance to Cuervo. We're here for chow. We can't go eat anything because we can't even get onto the base because there are about 5 million tanks on trailers that are totally log jammed up by the front entrance. So we're going to try and go around and see if we can get in the back way, but they say that the gate is blocked up too. So uh, yeah, anyway, this is what happens when the new people come into country. Yeah, they mess everything up. Can't wait to leave. <laughs> get around them. Yeah, that's our uh, relief unit arriving in the convoy of equipment. but. The trouble with that is, what? is that we're stuck behind him and we can't get onto the pub and eat breakfast and we're kind of pissed about that because we're hungry. And uh, those are all brand new people just arrived. Alright, the chow halls are improving. Third ID's here and now we got good chow halls, so that's my breakfast right there. That's my omelet. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, sir. Hey there. There you go. Hey, I saw him. Hi. Scott's not used to the view from the seats because Scott usually guns, so that's why he's been sleeping most of this mission. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice that. Scott over here, eyes closed, head down. <laughs> Halfway I've through. been awake the whole time. Yeah, I'm just checking your eyelids for holes, am I right? <laughs> I see well, you. You got a friend in your window. Well, that was kind of creepy, actually. I just sit <laughs> here looking at you and the dude just appears. Wow. Okay, we should get out of here before we get mobbed with kids. This wasn't the market I was referring to. Good evening. Oh, shit, Edward. Oh, man. Formal hire. Yeah, that's yeah. gross. Take that wheel over. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, Edward. Yeah. Edward. 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 This is, uh, Shitwater Road, where they got the Bradley stuck in the Hamilton fell in that ditch. <laughs> Uh, a rocky cam. 
Andrew, go. Go ahead. I'm behind you, guys. <laughs> in my line, they moving. About every day we go shopping in the park. <laughs> same thing in Germany. <laughs> it is the same thing. Okay, Hans, hand off the camera. We're about to put you to work. Versa. I want to find out why those three are following us. Three will find out. Those three will follow us and start in the market. Die. Die, die. 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 So, him, him, and him have been following us since we got in the market. Ask him what he wants. Huh? What's he saying? He's looking for a uh, softy bear. Go look that way. Look that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's go. 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 Alright, so this is the middle of nowhere. We're on the convoy back. Date is the 24th of February 2005. This is the convoy from Baghdad to Kuwait. And this is where we stopped taking a rest stop out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Here's our convoy. 30 some odd vehicles. This one right here is our ride. The main it's 5 ton. Kids are kids everywhere. Yakima does. I've been to places like that in Yakima. Yeah. No, I agree. The housing situation is pretty bad here. Yeah. Just At least I know those houses have flushing toilets. You can drink water out of the faucet without shit. That's true. Yep, yeah, that's true. But you know, kids are kids everywhere. That's just part of being a kid. I think that's good. We have arrived at what we believe to be the Iraqi-Kuwaiti border. So, for the record, this is our last moment in Iraq. <laughs> Thank God. Raven McMillan, you're about to cross out of Iraq for hopefully the last time. What are your thoughts? I'll be back in a couple of years. That's right, we'll see you soon. Those I won't flag the Iraqis. Alright. Uh, nice. There's the border guards, I think. Woohoo! <laughs> See you later. Yeah, those are Kuwaitis. We're here. Those guys have the Kuwaiti patches on. <laughs> Welcome to State of Kuwait. Kuwait. State of Kuwait, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's our rack. Forbidden weapons and ammunition. What are we gonna do? <laughs> All right. Oh no, no alcohol. No.
We're at 6.30 in the morning on the 26th of February 2005. This is Kuwait. This is the day after I arrived in Kuwait. I arrived here last night. That's the sunrise coming up in the morning in Kuwait.